Hello again, it's John Draw from Macomb Square Music, upstairs studio, Macomb, Illinois. Um, I'm going to show you some of my custom drumsticks today. People sometimes see these and ask me about them. They're kind of an odd color, a little bit odd shape. Um, these sticks you cannot find in a catalog anywhere. These aren't made in a, like in a factory like the Bickford sticks. Uh, there's a gentleman named John Crockin uh, who makes these in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, out east, persimmon wood is more common. These, these are persimmon drumsticks. It's kind of a dark wood, though it can have different shadings in it. I don't know how well this will show up. I'm going to show it to you on the camera here a little closer. Um, it's got his name on there, Burnt In John Crockin. Uh, he's been making these sticks for 40 years now. He hand makes these in his basement on his lathe. Um, persimmon is a very dense wood. I don't know if you can see what I showed you there. The wood grain is very tight. These sticks are very strong. Usually a pair will last me two or three years. Uh, it'll take rim shots, cymbal crashes. They're very durable. Uh, but they also, compared to hickory, feel very light. Um, in fact, they almost feel like nothing in my hand at all. Which is kind of, it's kind of a different feeling. I first met John Crockett in 1993 um, at the Percussive, Sci Percussive Art Society International Convention, which was in Columbus, Ohio that year. He had a booth in the Expo Hall, and I just couldn't believe the feeling when I tried his drumsticks, uh, and I bought a pair. And that was, that was in 93, so over the past 20 plus years, um, you know, when my sticks were out, I've called them on the phone and ordered some more. Uh, I'll have some st stuff in the description below um, about how to order. He doesn't have a website. He does have a phone number. Uh, he has a web page on Facebook. Um, and he has email. So if you're interested in something like this, um, I get some information. I'm going to show you this up close a little bit. I don't know how well this will come through on the camera. Uh, but the wood grain is very tight. The wood tends to be quite dark. But it does have some light streaks in it also. He makes his with a very round tip. It's almost a perfect sphere. Uh, which gets a very articulate sound. And they bounce really well. On a cymbal, for example, it's very pingy. I don't know how well that's going to sound coming through on YouTube, but they're very, very pingy. Also, kind of these round tip uh, on the drums give a quite meaty sound to the rolls. Styles, sometimes I don't. Um, but it's well, uh, if you're interested in some custom drumsticks, he does incredible work. He makes them one at a time, uh, by hand on his lathe, and there's incredible sticks. I mean, it's made out of persimmon wood, which is not very common. Um, overwhelmingly, drumsticks are made out of hickory. That's by far the most common wood. You also find some maple drumsticks that are a little bit lighter. Uh, you get some. They're made out of oak uh, that are a little bit heavier. Vic Firth has three pairs of persimmon wood drumsticks. If you go to their webpage, um, it's under orchestral drumsticks. They have three models that are recommended for orchestral playing. Um, John Crockins, he, he's come in five models. He's got um, three parade models that are very thick. He has a set of concert sticks that are kind of typical, maybe like a 2B, 5B. And these are his drum set sticks, which are kind of a 5A to 7A-ish type uh, size. Um, these sticks were endorsed and used by uh, Max Roach and Jim Chapin. Um, if you don't know who they are, look them up on, on YouTube, on Wikipedia. Um, 
They're just a great pair of drumsticks. Every time I play with these, people always ask me, what are you playing with? One time a guy said, are those like antique drumsticks? And nope, these were made this year. They just look so different. They're always kind of an eye catcher. People are like, well, who's John Crockett? I haven't heard of it. They've heard of Vader sticks. They've heard of Zildjian sticks. They've heard of Promark sticks. They've heard of Nick Perth sticks. Uh, but they haven't heard of John Crockett. So I'm kind of spreading the word a little bit. I said, in the, in the description, I'll have some information if you want to contact him and look at maybe getting some for yourself. Thanks as always. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe.